Alright, yeah, we're recording. Okay, so guys, hello and welcome to my brand new YouTube channel! Oh my god! I'm so excited. I've always wanted to do something like this, but I just never have done it because I was like, I was like, what would I do? Like, I just, I'm not very good at talking. Well, I am good at talking, but not to like, I don't know. I just thought it was very strange and it's an uncomfortable feeling. And it is, it's a bit uncomfortable, I'm talking to my, I'm having a conversation with myself. But, let's just see how it goes. Who cares? Um, my first video I'm ever going to do is going to be about... Da -da 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 pregnancy! So yes, I'm getting so many questions, I'm getting so many hints and helpful tips and advice to... If you guys have any advice or tips or hints or tricks or whatever, I am like so grateful for those, so leave those in the comments down below. I did get some rather interesting questions. Let's just read those out first. Can you get pregnant from anal? What position did you get pregnant, pregnant in? Um, I'll be skipping those for now. Might come back to you later. Okay. So, pregnancy questions. I've had a lot of little, a lot of different pregnancy questions. A lot of them are very repetitive from just different people, but still um, kind of the same questions. So I will read out obviously who I like the question, and then I'll read out like who posted the question. But obviously, if you've asked the same question, I'm sorry, I just answered the first one that I seen. So this one's from Bree Joy William. How many days have you had morning sickness? Oh, okay. So, my morning sickness was so bad. So, every day for the first three months of my pregnancy, I was sick. Like, no joke. I was taking three Maxillin tablets three times a day, every day for 12 weeks straight. And then, I woke up at like 13 weeks and like 12 weeks in one day, whatever it may be. And then, like, no, it, it was gone. It was like, there was nothing there. I was like, are you serious? It was so strange. So, 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 so strange. How does it feel to be a mum at this stage by Zoe? Uh, well, I think, I don't know if I could call myself a mum just yet. I more call myself like mum to be. Um, the feeling is very, very different. Like there is love when you love your family or like your mum, your dad. You know, there's love when you love your boyfriends, but this love is just, it's indescribable. The feeling that you haven't even met your baby and you are like, obviously these mums, mums that are pregnant or mum-to-bees that are pregnant that experience, would have experienced are hopefully the same thing, but it is the most craziest feeling in the world. Like, you, I, I can't even, I can't, I can't even justify or like explain the feeling of being a mum at this stage because I'm not really a mum yet. That's something like I don't know. I guess this goes on all mothers' mum to be minds. I guess it's just something that you work out as you get to that point. But yeah, it's it's scary. It's confusing. It's everything all in one. But I'm definitely at the moment. I'm definitely like feeling the love. I just want to cuddle my little baby. Just a hop a baby. Anyway, how many weeks pregnant are you? Well, you know what? That one's by Dylan. Dylan, I will tell you how many weeks I am because I have this amazing app. It's called Ovia. And oh my god, this thing, if you are pregnant, download this app. It is so good. Ovia. It is amazing. Oh, okay. So I'm 24 weeks today. Congratulations, Billy! 24 weeks today. My baby is now the size of an Atlantic puffin. If you guys don't know what an Atlantic puffin is, it's, um, I don't know if you can see that. Atlantic puffin. Also known as a sea parrot or clown of the sea. We bet you can come up with much better nicknames for your baby than that. Have you got any names picked out for either gender? 
I have a name picked out for the boy, uh, for the girl, but I have no boys' names picked out. I just cannot think of a boy's name. But girl, yes I do, and I'm not going to share it just now because it's a secret, it's a surprise. But if it's not a girl, um, then I will tell you all so you guys can steal it. <laughs> no. Um, but if it's a if it's, if it's a boy, I don't know. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Another question is, how did you feel when you found out? This is by Jesse. Um, when I first found out I was pregnant, I was um, I was very I was confused. I was scared. I was sad. I was happy. I was excited. I was. I was, let's just say confused. I had mixed emotions. I was, I think that's, and I was confused. So I was asked, I was asking other people if, like, I'm confused, like, what do I do? And they were like, it's completely normal to be confused. But apparently, confusion's completely normal. So I was like, well, if it's supposed, to, if I'm supposed to be confused, then it's meant to be. But that was my output on it. Okay, um, so another question by O. William. Are you done after this one? Who knows? Who knows? It depends. Like, if it's... It depends. Like, if I'm going to be with someone, I might obviously may have a kid to them. But I definitely would think that my child would want a sibling. Um, maybe even three. Like, three in total. But I'd probably do, like, you know, IVF or something like that. Or insemin out of whatever, insemination. But, yeah, definitely don't know. Because what if I one's enough for me and I'm fulfilled with my life? I don't know. That's a question that I'm not sure about. I haven't had one yet. Let's just have one and see what happens. Um, is it a boy or is it a girl? Um, well, today is Wednesday, the 17th of October. And I will find out on Sunday, the 21st of October. So, I don't know. So I didn't find out because I wanted my sister to tell me rather than the ultrasound lady telling me. I'd rather have my friends and family around me. So I'll find out on the 21st of October and so will all my friends and family except my sister. So she's the only person that knows what the sex is but I guess we'll find out Sunday and then I'll probably post a video not long after that on YouTube and on Instagram. So. Keep an eye out because you need to help me with help me with names. Mm -hmm. Um, are you single and dating? Jesus, these questions are a bit personal. <laughs> um, single, yes, definitely single. Um, dating, no. I'm not dating anybody. I feel like I'm gonna take a big break from dating people. I just feel like. I feel like my opinion is that a man doesn't make a family, so I don't need to date anyone. Like, I'm, ha I'm about to have a baby, like, I don't need to date. I think this love's going to be exactly what I need and want in my life. But yeah, not, um, definitely not dating at this current time, and I'm single, yes. How far along were you when you found out you were pregnant? I seriously would have been like four weeks, three weeks. Was, I think it was just like three weeks pregnant. Yeah, it was three weeks. And where was I, it says. I was in, I was at home, my house with my sister. I live with my sister. And I was in a lounge room. And I took three tests. Because the first one was positive And I was like, no, nah, girl, it can't be real. Like, no, don't be silly. Took another one. It's positive. I was like, fuck. Okay. And then I was like, it's one more just to be safe. Waited like an hour. And I took another one and positive. So I have three positive tests. Then I went to the doctor like the week later. And then yeah, that's how I found out. <laughs> what am I not looking forward to? In pregnancy, I guess. Um, I'm not looking forward to... I've heard some horror stories about birth. I've heard some very scary stories. And I don't know. Ugh, I'll be right, but... People, I swear people like to tell a really good scary story. <laughs> Drugs during labour. That's actually a really good question. Drugs during labour. Um, I personally would take drugs like morphine, painkillers. I don't care. Get me out of that pain. 
Epidural, like a lot of women have said to me, take the epidural, it is so good. But I've done a lot of research on the epidural. Like I say this now, but probably during labor, I'll be like, get with a fucking epidural. No, um, like I, I don't know, I've been reading a lot about the epidural and like Googling a lot about it and I feel like it's very scary. I don't know if it's something I want to do. I don't know if I don't, I don't know if I don't want to feel the bottom half of my body. I don't know if I'm ready for that. If I can hold off on getting an epidural and try and do it without it, I would much rather do that. But obviously, sometimes you have no choice. So, who knows? Um, will you be joining another Gold Coast mother groups? This one's by Rebel Mama on Instagram. Um, yes, I'm already on a few like single mum groups and like support groups and all that kind of stuff. Drop all the groups down below in the comments and I'll definitely check them out because anything that's going to help me, yeah, I'm definitely willing to take on board. Things that annoy me. Okay. <laughs> you know what really grinds my gears? Really grinds my gears? Is the fact that people say, okay. <sighs> How do I put this in the nicest way possible? That was good. Um, people are like, if you have cravings for cake, you're having a boy. If you have cravings for this, you're having a girl. It's like, but your wife or you are not me. There's things like if you're carrying really low, that's a boy. Like, it's not true, I'm sorry, but these are all old wives' tales and myths. Um, there's no, like, if you put... It depends if you're superstitious or not. Um, if you're craving lollies, you're having a girl. If you're craving savoury, you're having a boy. Mate, that's an old wives' tale. If you're, if you have heartburn, your baby's gonna have hair. No, like my mom did not have heartburn throughout her whole pregnancy, and I came out like with an afro, with an afro. So it's not. I believe, in my opinion, that what annoys me. You ask me what annoys me. What annoys me when people tell you like what you're having or like oh you should be like you know it's 20 weeks you should be getting this 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 because that's what they went through it's like well hold on everyone is very different i didn't even experience my baby kick until like 21 weeks like the day on 21 weeks and everyone was like i felt my baby kick at 14 weeks 16 weeks 18 weeks so i started to get a bit like oh shit my baby's not kicking it's 21 weeks what's happening is my baby going to be a slow learner? But it's just everyone is so, so different. And everyone handles pregnancy very, very differently. That's all I know. And depends your frame of your body. Like if you're carrying high or in your butt or in your back, it's all, to me, it's all mess, but each their own. So I think for now, that's most of the questions um, that I would like to personally answer. Um, the rest are uh, duplicated or whatever. So I just want to thank you all so much for taking the time and actually asking me those questions and caring, even though you may or may not. I don't know what your deal is, but thank you. And remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep an updated pregnancy journey or I'm going to be doing like um, what products worked for me best whilst pregnant. And I'm going to be doing clothes that fit and look good on my body shape whilst pregnant. Um, I'm going to do a mukbang Q&A, so that means like I'm going to be eating a food of your choice that gets the most votes while I'm answering anything that doesn't have to be pregnancy related. Um, I'll be doing some videos on designing the baby room so you guys can see. I'll be doing a video on finding out the sex of the baby so you guys will see the gender reveal. Hopefully that one will be up by next week. Um, also, I'll probably do a sh quick video on do's and do's, do's, do's. <laughs> I'll also be doing a quick video on do's and don'ts while pregnant too. And remember guys, this is all through my own experience. This is just me telling you my experience through my pregnancy. This has nothing to do with what should be right and what's wrong or what you should be feeling and what you should not be feeling. This is just me sharing my journey and I'm really, really, really excited you guys have chosen to switch in and come and follow me on my journey. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Thanks so much for watching. Mwah!